Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts. In today's episode of Diecast Emporium, we're going to be going over a the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Highline Series model. This is the Cat 988K wheel loader with log grapple, or the mill yard arrangement version of this loader. The item number right here at the top right of your screen is 85917. So as I mentioned, this wheel loader was previously reviewed on this channel with the bucket arrangement, the standard wheel loader arrangement and that's just off to the screen on the left hand side of the screen so we will take another quick look at that after we finish reviewing this one uh, but this is a mill yard machine so typically this machine would be used to empty the logs off of the log trucks as they come in and then stack them into piles to be processed through the mill so as it is a highline series model it does come in the collectible metal tin as you can hear right there there's a picture of the model on the side Here's a picture of the model at work in the aforementioned mill yard. Pretty darn good picture of it. Nice background as well. I would imagine that's probably somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Once again, that is your item number. On the back, there is the 988K in its natural environment, unloading some log trucks. And if you're interested in getting yourself educated... There's some specification details on the real Cat 988K with log grapple. So pause the video right now and check that out if you want to. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So this was one of the first Highline series models that Diecast Masters did once they acquired the Cat license back in the middle part of 2015. Here is the catalog that you get with every Diecast Masters Cat model. So this, this will change, obviously, every year, depending on what year the machine is that you are buying. And inside, here's the rubber that keeps the model safe. And here are your two holes to stick your fingers in as well to safely remove the model from the packaging. And once you do that, you don't have any assembly to do because the model is nice and safe inside fully assembled just make sure when you grab onto the model i like on this particular one especially it's kind of a rule of thumb with any wheel loader i like to grab towards the back because you're not going to get a mirror or any handrails or anything that could possibly break off so i like to put one hand uh, towards the engine cover on the back and then one somewhere up towards the front and there you go so let's get this packaging out of the way. So as this is a 988 machine, the largest wheel loader that Cat makes is the 994. So this is getting up there. Uh, this is one of their larger wheel loaders. So for the detail that we will go over on this machine, there are some really, really nice additions to this loader, such as these right here, which are your hand and safety grab rails. That the operator would use as he's climbing in and out of the cab. These are metal and the cat yellow paint match is very very good. Your exhaust and air take all those are plastic and to scale and there is a hole on here. Looking towards the engine cover here are your warning labels, your safety labels. I believe right here, this is supposed to be a backup camera that they have modeled exceptionally well because it's a tiny piece, and it's a tiny piece on the model. Here are some lights, and again, your hand and grab rails. You also have some texturing for non-slip right here, and again, as you can hear, they are textured, as you can see there at the bottom of your screen. Mm -hmm. Moving along here to the side, these hubs right here, these are highly detailed. You can actually see the lug nut detail on those, which is excellent. Moving closer to the articulation joint. Again, if this is your first time watching a video on wheel loaders, first off, welcome. And secondly, a wheel loader doesn't feature steering. It actually steers by pivoting in the center or articulating in the center. And you have some uh, steering hydraulic lines right here across the pivot point, which is good. You always want to see that. Adds to the immersion and the realism factor. Moving towards the front, this is where you have your log grapple implement. These do open, and they are sturdy. 
So if you have model logs or whatever, or in this case, because we never spare any expense here on this channel, pens that will model and stand in as our logs, uh, you can see that it will hold those just fine and at any angle. So in terms of the modeling functionality and engineering that's been implemented here, it works quite well. It also tilts forward and to the back, and it does raise to a very good height, as well as dump. And then again, looking towards the back of this, I hope this is coming up on camera. On the back going towards the rams, you have some hydraulic hydro line detail in rubber and fine rubber going to those which are to scale. Up on top of the cab, you have your amber or orange beacon working light. Your mirrors are plastic, but they're to scale and they have a silvered finish surface on them to give the illusion that they are reflective and uh, have that mirrored finish on it. As every wheel loader should have, this has the oscillation of the rear axle, but the front axle is fixed in position. And your articulation works wonderful in either direction, left or right. So you can post the machine turning at a sharp angle in your diorama or your milliard layout. As for underneath this wheel loader, there isn't a ton of detail, but the tires have a realistic tread pattern on them. You have your drive shaft and transmission visible. Again, some of the up, some of the hydraulic lines are visible as well. But for the most part, all of the detail and attention is paid to the machine right side up, as it should be. So, there is a quick review and synopsis of the Diecast Masters Cat 988K Milliard Arrangement or Log Grapple Loader. Now, this was based off of the regular 988K wheel loader, which I told you that I would show you just for comparison. And it's right over here. So, let's bring this one in. And although these are Highline Series models, I just want to make sure that I mention this. These were, um, as I like to call them, first generation Highline Series models. So your operator figure, Bob, is permanently affixed in the cab. Unless, of course, you want to disassemble your model and remove him that way. But with the operator in the cab, that gives you a really good indication of scale in terms of a fully grown uh, man, what, what his size would be in reference to the, the size of these humongous machines in the real world. So there is the 98K with the bucket, which again, you've already seen reviewed on this channel. Pardon my hand. And then here is the log loader. All right, so let's do a quick demonstration here just to show you um, how it would look. Put some logs in, in its grapple here. So standing in for logs, I'm gonna do some pens over here at my desk. Now, you can put a ton of sticks, logs, whatever material you're using, because you have a huge surface area in these, you know, in these tongs. The, the, the real machine and the model, it's designed to, you know, offload a 1 to 50 scale fully loaded uh, log truck. So, you're going to get an entire load in one tong, one grapple tong. So, you can see here, hopefully this won't be a giant fail, but it carries these with no problem whatsoever, with plenty of room. You can go around your office and steal everybody else's pens off their desk and still have room to spare. So, an excellent model in 1 to 50 scale. Definitely highly recommended if you are fans of wheel loaders, if you're fans of forestry machines, uh, milliard machines, wheel loaders with unusual attachments. Tons of reasons to purchase one of these. Definitely the play value is there, which is a term I use for the collectability value, how well the, mo how well the model functions. You can see that it functions in every way that you'd want a machine like this to function. For the last thing that I will demonstrate is how it looks on a low boy. So let's bring in our low boy here. 
So this is a pretty heavy machine, so usually um, they would probably ship this in, in most states. Of course, it varies based on the laws that are in that state, but this would be on an oversized low boy, probably with a booster or a uh, Jeep or something like that. So I have attached a two axle booster at the end. So hopefully we will get this entire thing in frame. By the way, this is a Diecast Masters low boy set. And here, okay, good. So the whole thing is in the frame there, perfect. Here is what it would look like if you wanted to pose your model on the Diecast Masters XL HDG 120 low boy. Pretty sweet looking ride. So as always, guys, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.